Hey guys, so I already talked about this issue in my previous video regarding the 0xc0007b problem whenever you are trying to run a game. Now the previous video was short, I have to admit, but that was because I was away from my PC. But now that I have access to my PC, I can make a full length video explaining the entire process of how you can get rid of that issue. Before doing that, I should tell you that this solutions I will be providing in this video will be not different from my previous one, but rather I will just explain them properly. So if the video previously was not very helpful to you, then this video shouldn't be helpful either. But if you think that you missed a step or was not able to properly use the solutions I had provided, then you must see this video. First. Let's talk about why this issue occurs. This issue usually occurs because every game that you install requires a particular file to run it. These files are present in system32 folder and there are millions of these files that are required to run these games. But as you keep installing new games, you will find that these games keep updating the contents of system32 folder and because of this some files may go missing or may be updated to a newer version and some new game that you may install now won't be able to run because the files that it required has already been updated or changed or may be completely deleted. So the best solution I will be providing for this issue may not be similar to what you will find in other videos as most of them ask you to install some certain softwares like DirectX or VC Reddit or .NET Framework and as such. As these softwares may update your system32 and will give you the files that you might have accidentally deleted. But these solutions are not 100% sure as you really don't know which files you are really required to run these games. So if you have already tried all these solutions from the previous videos or other videos you might have seen on YouTube then you should please consult this video for your solution. I must repeat that only apply these solutions if you have already tried the previous videos or the other solutions present on the internet. So let's start the first solution. Now the first solution is rather quite easy as all you need to do is install a clean windows. As a clean windows installed will give you the default files and the default file always works whenever you are required to need a game. So you will not be facing the same issue of 0xc0007b. I know it might be a little harsh or you might not really want to install a new windows but it is rather the best solution to almost every problem you might face on your PC and I will recommend you to always keep a windows with you so you can install it whenever you want or whenever you are facing an issue of maybe virus or 0x007b or maybe any other issue a new windows will always solve any issue you might be having with your PC. If you don't have a clean windows, you can write it down in the comments and I will provide you a link where you can download Windows 10 easily. Now moving on to the next solution, as most of you wouldn't want to install a new windows due to any problem you might have or you might not want to lose the original windows that you might have to install a pirated one. So let's move on to the second solution. The second solution is a little risky, I have to inform you beforehand so please make a copy of your system32 folder before applying the second solution. Now where can you find the system32 folder? Just open the C drive or any drive that you have installed your windows on. For most of the people it would be C drive. So open the C drive. Now in the C drive you will find a windows folder. Click on the windows folder and underneath there you will find the system32 folder. Now all you need to do is copy the system32 folder and paste it in another drive. So if you might face a problem afterwards, you can just copy paste it back and you will have your default files back. Now what you need to do is you need to find a friend that might have the same windows as you. You have to make sure that he has the same windows as you. If you have a windows 7 64 bit, he must have windows 7 64 bit. If you have windows 8 64 bit, he must have windows 8 64 bit, 32 bit, whatever. Make sure that he has the same window and he is actually able to run the game. If he has the same windows and he is able to run the game, then believe me your problem is solved. All you need to do is ask him to give the system32 folder from his PC to you. Ask him to copy the folder 
of system 32 i have already told you where you can find the system 32 folder so just take the system 32 folder from him and copy paste its content you have to make sure you have to copy paste the content inside the folder to your system 32 folder now while you are doing that you might realize that some of the files will be repeating and they will ask you if you want to overwrite them or skip them during that problem you have to click on overwrite once all the files are copied you have to restart your pc after restarting you have to try to play the game again or click on the game icon and you will realize that your problem is gone if you are facing another issue with this problem or this issue didn't work then you can just write it down in the comments and i'll help you any way i want if you have a windows 10 64 bit i'll give you my own system 32 folder so you can cut paste it click like and subscribe thank you